Film starts with a guy called Brent who's driving a car. He's in the car with his dad. They're talking. Immediately, a blood-soaked boy comes in front of their car. End up saving him, their car has crashed into a tree. This accident causes the sudden death of Brent's father. Six months later, we are shown that Brent is sunk into depression because of his father's death. And he begins to take various drugs because he used to put blame on himself of his father's death. Razor blade was hung in his necklace. Using it, he used to punish himself marking cuts on his hand. There is a girl in Brent's college named Lola Stone who invites him to promenade dance of college. But Brent rejects it because he had a plan with his friend Holly. Then Holly goes to drop Brent and gets off him at a distance from his house. Getting off the car, Brent tells Holly that Loa Stone had invited him to promenade dance. Coming into house, Brent's mother asks him that how will he go to promenade dance. He responds on it, I will go by Holly's car. His mother forbids it suggesting to take a hired car. According to her, a trained driver is more expert in driving. Because his mother was in depression taking Brent's father death. He also thinks that Brent himself is the responsible of his father's death. Brent was forced to obey all restraints imposed by his mother. He is now forbidding the use of a car. Hearing it, Brent leaves that place. Taking his dog, he goes to High Steep Rock for suicide. But he does not commit. He stops himself and he begins to listen music sitting there. After a while, he receives his mother's call. He is nearly to pick up the call, but caught and made senseless by someone at the back side. Putting him into a pickup truck, that diver takes him away. While searching, Brent's mother reaches at the high steep rock. Because she knows that he will have come here. But she does not search him even after a hard effort. On the other side, Holly also reaches there to go promenade dance after getting ready. She just knocks at the door of Brent's house, suddenly Brent's mother arrives there. She immediately asks, where is Branner? But Holly is also unaware about him. Then his mother calls Paul, who is their neighbor and also police officer. She tells about the Brent who is missing. But he does not take it serious. Because Brent was habitual of doing so. He takes it serious when she tells that their dog has also been attacked by someone. Their dog had been beaten violently by someone. Holly is taking it to hospital, but it has died on the way. Then we notice the same pickup truck again in which Brent was taken after kidnapping. There is a dead animal on the road. That truck driver picks it up. Then that truck is stopped at a house and we notice Lola Stone and her father are inside it. And they were the captor of Brent. Lola Stone is in her room and her father Eric brings dress for her. She starts putting on her dress, before her father, who is starring her continuously. Coming into senses, Brent finds himself seated on a chair in a nice dress. Both father and daughter are seated in front of Brent. There was also another lady named Brett Eyes, whose forehead had a strange mark. Brent tries to flee from there, but he was tied tightly. They had adored their house like promenade dance place. They were also planning their own dance party. She kidnapped Brent after he turned her down for the promenade dance. She then infuses a packed peroxide needle into Brent's vocal cords. As a result, his vocal cords have indeed been harmed, and he can no matter how long shriek. Eric takes the photos of both. And he again takes photo of them with Brett eyes. Lola Stone is not comfortable with bird eyes. Now they are all dining, except Brett eyes. And Lola Stone tries to put the food into her mouth forcefully. It means she is not the mother of her. Because Lola Stone misbehaves with her. Brett Eyes is also their captive. After Brett Eyes, she moves to Brent and tries to feed him chicken forcefully. But Brent keeps his mouth shut. Then she speaks a statement of KFC as it's finger licking good. But Brent doesn't respond on her single word. Then Eric brings a hammer. As Lola Stone questions, while Eric beats the hammer on the table forcefully. So Brent has to respond in compulsion. He responds, nodding. As he nods, then, she asks him to lick her finger. 
Brent has to lick her finger because her father is seated in front of him taking a hammer. Then Brent needs to go lavatory, but she asks her to use glass emptying it. He does not do as such because he did not need it. He was searching a way for escaping. Bringing hammer near him, Eric tells Brent that I had killed your dog with hammer nail. Then Eric brings a nail and threatens to nail him if he does not urinate within 10 seconds. Then both father and daughter start counting in reverse. Consequently, Brent has to urinate. In return, Brent kicks Lola Stone who has fallen backward. He tries to escape from their releasing himself. While running outside, he hides himself under their pickup truck. Eric pursues him and starts his pickup truck sitting there. He notices Brent while driving his pickup truck backward. Then he drives his pickup truck after him hysterically. Immediately, Brent climbs up a tree and that pickup truck is crashed with that tree. At the same time, that girl has also arrived there and both start throwing stones on Brent. Suddenly, Brent loses his senses falling downside as a stone is hit on his head. Picking him up, they take him inside. They pierce the knives into his feet adjusting him on the chair. So that he may not escape. And Paul, who is looking for Brent at the high steep rock. He does not find Brent, but phone cell and hands free. He hands over them Holly and his mother. Then Lola Stone shows Brent a scrapbook. It reveals that she has been doing as such and it is not the first time. Captivation has been in the root of their past. His insane father brings boys for her after kidnapping. At first, she enjoys with them and kills afterward. It was obvious even in case of going to promenade dance, Brent had to face the same consequences. Then pointing in her scrapbook, she tells about a boy named Timmy Valentine who had escaped from there. He was the same boy who had come before Brent's car as a result his father was died. Then he thinks that boy was not the cause of his father's death, but these insane father and daughter. And Timmy Valentine is the son of police officer Paul Valentine. The victim of this year was Brent in their scrapbook. One photo was there while other photo was still left. They still have to make Brent's photo. Her father continues to appreciate her when she is carving Brent's body. She carves a heart on his body writing L and S in it. And she has been doing it since her childhood. As carving the same heart on everyone's body, she used to write L and S. It means Lola Stone. After carving, they pour the salt on his wounds. And Brent's agony intensifies. Then he names the name of Queen in the promenade dance. Then Lola Stone is selected as a queen among all girls. They want to celebrate the party so Whistle Toy is blown forcefully by Brent. Then Queen is crowned of the year. Eric again takes their photo. Now it is the time of dancing. Knives were pierced in the feet of Brent. And her father was pouring the small bit of colored papers. But she does not feel good with Brent so she starts dancing with her father. She comes to know that her father is her real prince. Then they cut that animal which was picked up by them on the way. Opening a sliding door, they pour water there. Different sounds were being heard from the inside of door. Eric takes out a drill machine from the tool case bringing it. He gives it to his daughter. She drills a hole in the head of Brent. This was the same mark as was observed on Bright Eye's forehead. She drills a big hole to his skull. Now they want to do one more thing. Bringing the boiling water, she will pour it on the head of Brent. Consequently, his brain will be pulp leading him lifeless. He will become like Brett Eyes and be thrown into basement. There are many people like him. They move ahead to pour the boiled water, but his head hole seems small to them. Then Eric is drilling his head hole to expand, but is attacked by Brent with a razor blade, which Brent was using to open his strings. Taking out the knives from his feet, he kills Eric. He throws him into basement, many people start eating him coming there. He is observing it all, but Lola Stone also throws him there arriving there. After that, she notices her dead father acting madly. Then she shuts the door. Noticing a torch light as Brent turns it on, he is attacked by everyone. But he puss everyone into death. There is also the heap of bones there. 
then Lola Stone also kills Brett Eyes. On the other side, Holly reminds the said words of Brent that Lola Stone had asked him to come and promenade dance. She informs to Pole, who immediately departs to Lola Stone's house. Reaching at Lola Stone's house, Pole peeps through the door of her house and notices a lot of spread blood there. Breaking the door, he enters inside. Brent also feels the arrival of someone there. He makes a noise so Pole gets awareness that he is hidden there. He searches him opening the door. At the same time, Lola Stone attacks on him with a tool throwing him down. Taking the pistol of Pole, Brent starts firing on her, but all bullets are wasted. Because she takes a side. Then she tells Brent as she is going to his house to kill his mother as she had killed his father. Afterward, she will also finish Holly. Saying it, she walks on foot and leaves because she does not know how to drive. Brent thinks. What should he do? He hits upon a plan and making a support of dead bodies, he became successful to come outside. Holly is also leaving to Lola Stone's house. And they both confront each other on the way. Lola Stone, seeing Holly, throws her scrapbook on his car, causing Holly to immediately apply the brakes. She goes inside the car and assaults Holly, but Holly tries to avoid. Brent also arrives at the area, driving Paul's car at full speed. He tries to put a stop to her. Holly appears in front of him unexpectedly, but Brent saves her. While Lola Stone is hit at the back side of car. Holly comes into the car and frightened seeing the condition of Brent. The notice Lola Stone at the back side who continues to crawl towards them in spite of the breakage of her bones. Then Brent reverses his car with high speed and Lola Stone is dead. Brent returns to her mother in his house and movie also ends here.